Hi, Maria Watkins here from the music business Made Easy. In the music industry, it's so important to understand the difference between the underlying copyright of the song itself and the copyright derived from the sound recording of that song. It can get confusing, so I hope this tip today helps to clear it up. When music is composed, including the melody and the lyrics, a song is created. If the music is created without lyrics, it is known as an instrumental, a musical work, you know, or composition. So for the sake of this tip, we'll use the term song to represent both, whether it has lyrics or not. Once a song has been created, that is the copyright, the song writing copyright. Once it has been written down or fixed on a playback medium, it's legally protected. If after creating the song, the songwriter chooses at that time to register the song with the Library of Congress, the proper form to choose would then be the Performing Arts, or PA, registration form. Those details identify the owners of the song, whether one or more authors, as well as the contributions and contact information. The writer then becomes both the songwriter and the music publisher of the song. In other words, the songwriter controls all of the rights to the song. Always treat intellectual property with great care. It is the fuel of the music industry. So let's look at the sound recording copyright. To better understand this, let's use a scenario. An artist heard your song and wants to record it. You agree and take one of the rights of that song and allows the artist to record and distribute the song to the public for sale. They get with a producer and the artist records your song. That recorded version of the song is the sound recording copyright of that song. Well, who owns the sound recording copyright? It depends. If you choose to record your own song, then you would be the sound recording copyright owner as well. If the artist you licensed the song to was signed to a record label, then the record label would own the sound recording copyright. If the artist was signed to a production company, depending on the agreement, then the production company would own the master of the sound recording copyright. It depends on the scenario and the contractual terms defined within the contract. Let's say the artist was his or her own label and they hired a production company to produce the masters of the song. Then the artist would own the master or the sound recording copyright. That fixed arrangement of sounds embedded on that file or burned to a CD or, you know, put on a USB. Yet the songwriter would still own the underlying songwriter copyright to that master recording. When it comes to copywriting the sound recording copyright, the owner claiming the sound recording authorship would use the SR or sound recording form to register the song with the Library of Congress. If the owner of the sound recording and the underlying songwriting copyright are the same, then that owner can register both the underlying song and the sound recording copyright with the same SR form registration. What I want you really to get firmly fixed in your mind today is that the songwriting copyright and the sound recording copyright are not the same. They are completely different and separate from each other. They could be owned by the same person or by different owners as we previously discussed. This will be very important for learning how the money flows in future music business tips. So get the concepts down and have a beautiful day.